Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about the Royal Tenenbaums, and this maybe it came out in 2001, and it's directed by Wes Anderson, and this is the first time I'm seeing it, and I thought this movie was really great, and I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, and I've always heard that people really loved this one and considered it to be one of Wes Anderson's best movies, and after watching it, I would agree. I think this is one of his best films, and... I was getting a lot uh, from uh, the characters and the tone and uh, the way uh, things were presented. There were a lot of characters in this movie, almost uh, to the point where it's like a Magnolia amount of characters. And if you've seen Magnolia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's like 10 characters that the movie focuses on and the movie is able to balance out all those different stories going on and not feel as though too many characters are on screen at the same time. And that's pretty much uh, what happens here. And uh, I thought uh, that the film balanced out uh, all these different storylines uh, going on uh, very, very well, very carefully. And uh, I liked uh, the usage of music. There was a point uh, where the movie used like Charlie Brown music. I forget what it's called, uh, but <laughs> I've uh, seen uh, Charlie Brown uh, quite a bit. Uh, and I was able to recognize him uh, when it was used. And I thought it was uh, both uh, pretty cool that I was able to recognize it uh, because it, they used it twice and uh, also the way that it was used in the film I thought was appropriate. And this movie has a really great cast like Owen Wilson, Gene Hackman, Danny Glover, Ben Stiller, Gwyneth Paltrow, Bill Murray. <laughs> like it, I could just uh, go on and uh, everyone uh, does a really great job in this movie and uh, their characters are very interesting and uh, no storyline, for the most part, it feels as though it's eating up too much screen time or just doesn't need to be there. The only one that I felt could have been cut out of the movie entirely and the movie would be no different would be Bill Murray. I just found his character to be kind of unnecessary, didn't really need to be there except for like one scene, but that's about it. And this movie was uh, pretty funny uh, throughout. I was uh, laughing in quite a bit. But this is also a film that is trying to be a drama, and I think it's very successful at that. And it uh, hits uh, the emotional beats uh, very well, and uh, it's successful in that department because I care about the characters, and the movie is very well shot. Everything is very symmetrical, and it feels like a Wes Anderson film, unlike Bottle Rocket, which I covered recently. There was uh, lots of really great and powerful scenes uh, throughout the film, and all the characters are very memorable, and uh, there's lots uh, that I can say about them, but I don't want to spoil anything. And this movie has, uh, like, the perfect runtime. It's under two hours, and with all these uh, different storylines going on and all these different characters and things that you have to keep track of, it somehow manages to be under two hours and uh, doesn't feel like it, you don't get enough of anything. Like, the fact that uh, the movie is able to do that, I think, is pretty impressive. And I'll say this much, in the beginning of the movie, I was kind of a bit worried because we were given a lot of information at once and there was a lot of narration. I was kind of getting worried as to whether or not that was going to be too much for me. But surprisingly enough, the movie after that point kind of slows down and just lets everything play out. And in retrospect, I kind of feel as though... All that stuff was necessary, and I don't take off points for that, because I do feel as though it adds to the film, and it's necessary, and without it, you would be kind of lost, and whenever you would get introduced to a new character, exposition would have to be, like, dumped into your face multiple times, whereas the movie just tells you everything within the first five minutes, and everything's fine, I feel. And all in all, I do think this is one of uh, Wes Anderson's uh, best movies. I would love uh, to rewatch it uh, just to see how it would rank in my Wes Anderson film ranking that I'll get to one day. I would recommend that you check it out. Just keep in mind, uh, there's a lot of characters in it, and uh, you're going to have to really pay attention and keep track of everything that's going on. But, but if you're okay with that, then you should have no problem getting into it. So definitely check this movie out whenever you get the chance. And with all that being said, I'm going to give The Royal Tenenbaums a 9 out of 10.
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of the Royal Tenenbaums and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a and last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Red Notice. So I look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.